Hey everyone, welcome back to Brickhead Barista. Thank you for joining me. Uh, first of all, apologies for my voice today. I'm a little bit croaky. I'm not sure what's going on there. But I'm really keen to show you what I've been doing in my Lego city, so I'm going to persevere. I've now finished building the boutique hotel, so I filmed the build for you. So I'm going to show you that, then we're going to come back, give you my thoughts on it, and see what the plan is for the next phase of building in the city. So, so I don't have to talk anymore. Let's go and check out the build. So outside the hotel we have this little business, a little fine art studio, a little desk in there, some artwork on the wall, it's pretty cool. On the ground floor of the hotel, just inside the entrance we've got the reception desk there, a place to hang the keys and a little telephone, a rather underutilised space under the stairs there, and a sofa couch for people to wait on and then a staircase leading up to the first floor. I think my favourite part of this build is this little bar area outside the first floor just above the art gallery. Little bar there with drinks ready to pour and this rather cool palm tree. A little too cold in England for palm trees but maybe it's a fake one either way. It's pretty cool. And here on the first floor, we have a couple of double bedrooms. Don't seem to be any bathroom facilities. That could be a bit of a problem. And I have to say, the salmon pink colour of this floor is not to my taste. Maybe it's in keeping with the design and age of the building, but I will never be building anything in salmon pink. What do you think? And here we have the most expensive room in the boutique hotel. There's a large Super King bed there with some chocolates on it. A wardrobe, an armchair. It's 
got its own TV and access to a balcony there. Of course, a bathroom with a bath, so this is where I'll be staying. Of course, we need to mention the minifigures that come with the set. Got these two ladies here, one with a camera, a businessman type figure with a briefcase, two members of hotel staff ready to take people's bags, this very glamorous lady with her parasol and suitcase, and then, of course, my personal favourite, a barista with a coffee cart. Now, he looks like he belongs in Assembly Square. The colour scheme is the same as the cafe there, so I might move him over to that set. But these guys will be great additions to my city. Which one's your favourite? I love the lady with the parasol. So there you have it, what do you think? There is the boutique hotel, all completed. Now, this might be a bit controversial, and I know in my last video I said that I was pretty sure I was gonna love every single build that I did and added to the city. I don't love this. Now, you might think differently, but don't get me wrong, it's all right, but I don't love it, and I'll tell you why. This first floor has upset me a little bit. The colour of the bricks, in my opinion, is disgusting. Salmon pink. No, thank you. And also, two rooms on the first floor. No bathrooms on the first floor. I'm not sure I'd be happy about staying there. The first floor is not for me. Upstairs, however, on the second floor, as you saw in the video, there is a very large bed, a nice balcony, a TV, a bathroom. What more could you want? So that is where I would be staying if I was in the boutique hotel. So I really do like the second floor and the larger room in this hotel. I think that is really nice. Um, also the outside bar right here. That's a nice cool little addition and I love the palm tree there. I wish I lived somewhere where palm trees grew naturally but sadly not at the moment. So that is the hotel added to the city. This is not going to be the final resting place as it were because it's my first corner modular and honestly I don't think it goes very well next to assembly square right there. There is a little alleyway area back here which you can't access in this location so I think it's going to get moved at some point as the city develops. Um, where that's going to be I do not know just yet so let me know what you think if you've got this set. What have you done with it? Um, have you managed to get around the fact that it's a corner modular? Because I did have the idea I was going to have one big long street, but now I've thrown myself a bit of a curveball by choosing to build build this corner modular now. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Now the next phase of development, we have a choice. I can either go on to building another modular, I have plenty to build, and I'm quite tempted, but I think it's time to build some roads, don't you? We've got room out the front now for some road plates so I can get those built and then get some cars in the city. Once that's done, then I'm obviously going to need to add an extra table, but that is the choice at the moment. Either we add another modular, possibly the police station, I don't know, let me know what you think, or we crack on with some roads. So. Let me know in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video, then please do hit the like button. And if you want to see what decision we make next and the progress of the city, then do please consider subscribing. I'm going to leave it there for now because I'm losing my voice. But thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.